Hi there. We are currently in a period of benign and slow moving weather patterns. One exception will be the north and northwest of Scotland, where it's turning more unsettled through the rest of the day. Outbreaks of rain, persistent rain into Shetland, that will be heavy at times, especially later on. And increasingly damp for the northwest of Scotland with a lot of low cloud and a strong wind gales for Shetland, 50 mile per hour wind gusts for the far north. Otherwise, for much of the country, it's a grey day. We started with fog in eastern parts in particular. That will slowly lift, but it's going to stay relatively overcast for the vast majority. Some cloud breaks towards the southwest, perhaps parts of Wales, more reliably eastern Scotland and northeast England as the cloud breaks up over higher ground to the west. The wind bouncing over the hills, though, so a gusty wind there for the northeast. And then into the evening, well, the rain comes south, but for much of the country, it's dry if you're heading out trick-or-treating with little ones, and it's good to be mild as well overnight, 11 or 12 Celsius the low in the south. I think a little lower than that if we do get some clear spells, especially towards the southwest, for example, a few mist patches first thing. But it's going to be much more unsettled as we begin Friday for the far north. And the band of rain by this stage is slowly pushing south into central Scotland, weakening, leaving brighter skies for the Northern Isles, albeit with a few showers and a colder feel. Further south, any mist and fog lifting, and it's another largely grey day with a sheet of clouds sticking around and just a few random cloud breaks here and there. 13, 14 Celsius in the south, into the single figures there for the far north, so a colder feel as northerly winds arrive. But those northerlies don't last long. We've got higher pressure building back in from the southwest, and that's going to help fizzle out the front as it pushes south into central Scotland. A damp day, or a damp end to the day at least, for Edinburgh, for the southeast of Scotland. But that front, well, it disappears then as higher pressure builds in on top of it. That higher pressure allowing milder air to push north once again into the weekend. But although it stays dry, it's going to stay largely cloudy once again for the vast majority. Bye-bye.